Presented by Boost Mobile. It is senior night here in Oxford as we present the SEC on ESPN. And because it's senior night, Terrence Davis, Bruce Stevens, and D.C. Davis all honored before the game with their folks. Kermit Davis out there and all three of them playing big roles this year for Ole Miss as the Rebels do their best to finish in fourth place in the SEC. Kentucky trying to finish atop the conference. They start the night 13 and three and they're behind both LSU at 14 and two and Tennessee at 14 and two. Look at all the teams that sit there at 10 and seven, nine and seven. That fourth spot is huge when it comes to the SEC tournament. It gets you a double. Coach John Calipari's team off a rough week. They trailed Arkansas, had a rally from 15 down. Then they got thumped by Tennessee. Kermit Davis' team has lost two in a row at home in a window in which they had a real chance to solidify their position in conference. Yeah, they really did, Rabbi. Look at Kentucky comes in right now, still in the hunt for a number one seed in the NCAA tournament. And Ole Miss, one win away. Yeah. One win away from locking up an NCAA tournament in Kermit Davis's first year here in Oxford. We'll hear from Laura Rutledge shortly, Jimmy Dykes, Carl Ravitch along for the ride. As we see Bruce Stevens, one of the seniors, jumping center against P.J. Washington, and it's Ole Miss here at the Pavilion in front of another huge crowd with a ball first. That's D.C. Davis, who will soon be replaced by Devontae Shuler, but on senior night, he gets the start as well. First shot of the game, a three-pointer, and what a start for Terrence Davis. A little concerned about how much energy he'd play with. That'll help calm you down. Yeah, you don't want him to get beyond the magic level, and a terrific start. Ole Miss so good and so fast, moving offensively. No read, Travis, for Kentucky. Tonight, E.J. Montgomery gets the start. They've rotated between E.J. Montgomery and Nick Richards. Keldon Johnson trying to drive his way to the basket. And the offensive rebound tap up and in by Keldon Johnson. That's the biggest issue for Ole Miss tonight. Can they keep Kentucky off that offensive glass? Ray and Tyree and Terrence Davis are the scoring threats. Combined, that combo has scored more than any other combo in conference play in the SEC. And that long three from Stevens off to the left. Coach, Coach Cal, Rabbi, told his guys today this is going to be an, an, an energy and a fight game. If you don't do both, we have no shot. Foul on D.C. Davis. Well, the energy level in this building under Kermit Davis has gone to the next level. And right. Calipari knows it. That student section is engaged. This is an Ole Miss team with those three guards. They play fast. Very difficult to beat the Rebels right now on their home floor. What do you expect early from Kentucky? We've seen Johnson drive it twice. Well, the, what, what they're best at is getting that ball to the paint and letting their size take over on that offensive glass and paint touches for kickouts. Higgins knocks down a three. Give him a two foot on the line. Red, it's good offense by Kentucky. Ole Miss is not a great defensive ball club. They're towards the bottom of this league in a lot of areas. You make them work and get to the fourth or fifth pass, you'll get some good looks. Hinson, that one is deflected and blocked. Good job there by P.J. Washington. Yeah, just ate it up, didn't he, P.J.? Closed quick, and they had him on the back line, but he had it go out of his hands. Good hands by Higgins as he was faked, and now a foul. Looks like D.C. Davis will go to the line to shoot a couple. Look at P.J. Washington, who for a long time has put himself in the conversation for player of the year. How about his last two games, games in which Kentucky really struggled in both games, Arkansas and Tennessee, two field goals. That's it. Well, without Reed Travis, his inside buddy, teams are just putting him in a crowd and making him work through bodies. And that's the, that's the missing piece right now for this Kentucky team. They cannot, they cannot win the national championship if this guy doesn't get back healthy. Guys, Kentucky is hoping to get Reed Travis back on Saturday against Florida for senior night. And, Ravi, we'll see if that happens. That's optimistic, though, 
as you see him looking confused at the foul that just happened. But when you think about Reed, they just want to make sure he's okay to return. And one thing that Cal pointed out, he has not had a knee injury like what he has now, and so he's still going to be a little uncertain to test it. They want to make sure he can cut without pain. Yeah, and he was scared. That night we were there at Missouri. Yeah. He went down and he was scared. I talked to him earlier today. He said he felt or heard something pop, and for Anybody that's never had that sensation in a knee, it is petrifying because it's such an odd sound. So he was really, really frightened by that. They will get him back. The question is, when? Good look inside and a good pass from PJ to EJ for the flush. Offensive foul, Bree and Tyree ran over Keldon Johnson. Yeah, that's an easy one, Doug Shouts right on top of it. That has been emphasized all season long. Bree and Tyree with no breaks after the dribble handoff action. Just runs smooth over Keldon Johnson. Height advantage early has been uh, a big check mark for Kentucky. Ole Miss 1-3-1 one, one defense. You've got to get that thing below the free throw line, and Kentucky does not do it. Good hands. That's off P.J. Washington. He's looked at E.J. and said, I was going to throw an alley-oop, and he didn't. All right, Reese, thank you very much with Jimmy Dykes and Laura Rutledge. I'm Carl Ravitch. We're at the Pavilion, a big SEC game between Kentucky, a game behind LSU and Tennessee, and Ole Miss trying to get into that fourth spot and to get a double bye in the SEC tournament just underway. That's Devontae Shuler just came into the game on senior night. Bringing Tyree, his first one, too long on the offensive glass, and just a little short is Shuler. Another turnover for Kentucky and a sloppy pass. Schuler to the rack with a left hand. Those guards for Ole Miss can really cause havoc. They're not so much solid defensively as they are disruptive. And Kentucky right now having trouble with the pressure of these Ole Miss guards. We noticed a little different Ashton Hagen's the last couple of weeks. Not playing with that same defensive success. I mean, he was a steel machine for a while earlier this season. And now off the miss, Ole Miss looks to push. And an easy layup on the other end for Terrence Davis. Kentucky just getting outworked to start this game. And John Calipari told his guys at noon today, this is an energy and a fight game. Ole Miss is winning both of those levels right now. Jay Washington, they forced into his left hand and he missed the shot. Yeah, they really got on that left shoulder, forcing P.J. Washington to do something else, just like Tennessee did Saturday afternoon in Knoxville. Bruce Stevens, three, in and out. And that big fella has chunked up two of them to start this game. Senior out of Lewin, Mississippi. Hasn't made either. 9-6, Ole Miss since Reed Davis kicked it to us. It's been all Rebels. How about E.J. Montgomery launching a three? Coach Calipari looks out at him and says, why? And we're going to get maybe a double foul here on P.J. Washington and Blake Hinson. Those of you watching on ESPN News will continue over on ESPN. Early here, Ole Miss by three over Kentucky. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is... This is Super Tuesday on ESPN. It's presented by Ooh, Boost Mobile. We are at Ole Miss on senior night. Three seniors, all of whom from the state of Mississippi. Terrence Davis, Bruce Terrence Stevens, and D.C. Davis all get a chance to have their picture taken on what has been an emotional, really, 48 hours, Laura. 
has, Ravi, and actually Bree and Tyree telling me that they had a dinner honoring the seniors at head coach Kermit Davis' house last night, and he couldn't even get through his words about Terrence Davis because he was crying so much. Really going to be sorry to see Terrence Davis go. He's meant so much to this program, so much to the players on this team, obviously the coaching staff as well, even Kermit Davis, who has not even known him as long coming in as the new head coach here. And we mentioned it earlier, but Coach Davis saying he wanted to make sure that Terrence wasn't too riled up tonight. Already he's been good in the early going. Seems to be keeping those emotions in check. Yeah, Laura, he is two for two so far tonight. Thank you very much. Much more from Laura over the course of our telecast. So Tennessee and LSU are both 14 and two. There's Kentucky a game behind. And boy, what a log jam for the team that's trying to finish in fourth place. You get five teams. South Carolina gets a big win tonight already. So they did their job tonight with one more game on the weekend. Meaningful game for both of these teams for different reasons. Well, Ole Miss is in that log jam, and there's a, a possibility they could finish as high as four, maybe as low as nine. And for Ole Miss, Ravi, they're one win away from locking up an NCAA tournament bid. And for John Calipari's guys, Honestly, they come in staggering a little bit. They have not played well in three of the last four halves of basketball, going back to last Tuesday against Arkansas. We were there, but they are still in the hunt for a number one seed in that NCAA tournament. They're still in the battle for the SEC regular season title, but their energy and their fight level has to rise up right now just a few minutes into this game. All right, a couple of big fellows into the game, Nick Richards for Kentucky and Dominic Olenichik, 13, who's about as big as anybody in the SEC underneath. Three ball, good. Davis on senior night, three for three from deep. That's way too easy. Kentucky just a breakdown defensively, leaving a hot shooter wide open at the top of the key. And this is a Kentucky team that top 15 in defensive efficiency right now, but they have kind of lost their swagger and their mojo on this end of the floor. I mean, Ola Nicek, there's no reason for Nick Richards to get involved and try to switch in the middle of the play, and Keldon Johnson trying to rotate out. Bad decision by the Cats. You'll see Kermit Davis switch defenses a lot. Right now they're in a 1-3-1 zone, putting pressure on the ball. Tyler Hero with a ball fake in the corner. That's a big one to start his night. Coach Cal did not feel like they were the aggressors against Tennessee guys, and he really emphasized that coming into the game. As Jimmy's mentioned, he wanted fight. He wanted energy. He's still saying that in their huddles as they go through this game, also telling them make every dribble catch hard, make it difficult for Ole Miss. He wants to see them be the aggressor, but specifically on defense. Buff in the drive, Laura, and he makes that layup right by Nick Richards. Ravi, the, that was a revenge game for Tennessee. Kentucky was not going to win that game. Yeah. With Reed Travis, without Reed Travis, Tennessee was not going to lose that revenge game. It's kind of a new scenario for this young Kentucky team to be a part of, and they did not handle it well. They got, they got punked in Knoxville. DJ Washington double team gets it back. Good pass to Emmanuel. Quickly three. That drops. So Kentucky, last two trips down, two different guys knocking down threes. I'm telling you, if Kentucky can get to the fourth or fifth pass within the possession, they're going to get good looks against Ole Miss. Foul off the ball. And wow, this is a big one. They call that on P.J. Washington. That's his second. And that is something that the Kentucky Wildcats want to avoid. Hey, this season, NCAA coaches and Infinity are taking a timeout to fight cancer with Infinity's $1 million donation to the American Cancer Society. Think about Coach Cal. He's involved with this in the 10th season now at Kentucky, and he is just one of two to lead three different teams to a Final Four. His 10th season, and he's on the sideline now, frustrated by the way his team has been playing. Well, Cal's going to use a lot of energy in this game, but he's in good physical condition. I was with him in the workout room this morning, and he was on the elliptical for about 45 minutes watching games on his iPad, and then when he left the elliptical, I switched over. He left his cell phone and his wallet and his ID right there. He did. Now, if I wasn't the honest guy that I am, yeah. Ellen Calipari, when she gets that credit card statement you in the month, you would have charged there could, up. Be, there could be a few things on there, but... Uh, the difference is you would have ordered a bunch of salads, and she'd say, <laughs> boy, John, we're eating salad now. Yes, I would have. <laughs> <laughs> Nukes. About five trips to Nukes. <laughs> Reed Travis is in there as well, running extremely hard. That's the most the important treadmill. part. Yeah, that's more important than Calipari on the elliptical, by the way. Reed Travis running today. And a good chance he comes back. Senior night, of course, for Kentucky Saturday. Maybe one of those cursory appearances, and if not, certainly by the SEC tournament. Hero 
Hands all over him. Eldon Johnson a little long with a three. And we're going the other way. Yeah, Rabbi Owens doing a really good job of hitting bodies when Kentucky takes the shot. The Calipari's guys can climb all over that offensive glass and punish you and overwhelm you with their size. They call that foul on Nick Richards. Owens doing a good job early on the pin down action of Kentucky. They're blowing through the opening. They're not trailing those shooters right now and kind of disrupting that offensive pin down series that Kentucky is so good. Backdoor tough pass, and there's Hero with the steal. Uh, great job by Hero to get his butt to the baseline and open up and see the pass and the back cut at the same time. Jamal Baker getting set to check in for Kentucky as Montgomery sets a high screen, and Hero, bang, he's two for two from three, and perhaps one of those 29-point nights that we saw in a recent game against Arkansas starting to begin to boil here for Tyler Hero. Rev, you, you, you told us today, like, he's a legit 6'6". This is a big kid. And he can go get his own off the bounce at a really good level. Two out of 11 against Tennessee did not help Kentucky. Boy, that's a tough shot. Nick Richards stood right up. And how about absorbing the blow was D.C. Davis. Yeah, D.C. Davis looked right at the blue jerseys. Keldon Johnson penetrating, knocking it down. Back and forth we go. He'll shoot a free throw when we come back. 18-16. This is an Infinity Timeout for the win. You can learn more at infinitytimeout.com. Back in, back in Oxford, and this time last week, Arkansas and Kentucky playing a controversial ending as at the end of the game, they were trying to figure out that three-foot box. Was he in? Was he out? We have our own Jimmy Dykes to tell us the real rule. Give us the details. Well, let us talk about the rule. So when the official, when the official hands you the ball, you're the out-of-bounds guy and you're frozen. Okay, you have an imaginary three-foot box that I've taped down right now. So your right foot could be there, and you, you, you can step out that way about three feet. You can come back this way, but your left foot there, step with your right. Those are legal plays. Get back in the middle for me. You can run in place if you want to. There's no travel. You can shimmy if you want to. You can bounce the ball on this. Come back up as far as you want. It's a hard box. All right, so basically, you can't go anywhere in and outside these white lines. We now know the rule, and I will never dance on this show again. Thank right. you, Jimmy. And don't let Jimmy hold the microphone, because when he does, it doesn't work nearly as well as when you hold it. The point being, you have literally about nine feet there. You can move your feet. You can travel. You just cannot have both feet out of that three-foot box. And according to some of the officials that got a chance to see that play, in hindsight said it was very likely that there was a violation on the play. It was not called in the moment. But in hindsight, it looked like perhaps there had been a violation. So moving forward, that's the rule for people that... Uh, Want to understand it? There is no traveling call there. You got to stay inside that three-foot box. Welcome yeah. back. Well, there's a lot for those officials to consider: the five-second count, the defender breaking the plane in front of you, you know, fouls coming at that play right now. And it's, I've seen it three or four times this year, not get called. And a key, it's a key thing, Ravi, for teams that press. They they rely on getting that call three or four times a year. Big Bruce Stevens takes it into traffic, and we got six on the shot clock. There's the three. That one misses. Haven't gotten Brian Tyree off yet. He's the leading scorer on this team at almost 17 a game. Nick Richards misses, but E.J. Montgomery fought for it. Emmanuel quickly. No good. This time it's Schuler. Guard for Ole Miss coming down, scraping down, gang rebounding. Davis got Another hit. Foul. Will it be three? That's on Jamal Baker. That's his first. And he's going to give him three shots. Go. Ole Miss already in the bonus. Think about what Ole Miss did in their last three games. They have been decided by a total of four points, Jimmy, and they two of those were at home. They had real chances and were not for a couple of late 
buckets, Tennessee, Arkansas, they'd be in a much better spot. Hey, Saturday, the two best games of the final weekend in the regular season, Duke and North Carolina, 6 Eastern. Carolina is peaking right now. Duke off a one-point win tonight over Wake earlier here on ESPN. And then Michigan and Michigan State. Michigan State likely gets Nick Ward back soon. They're a different team with him in the lineup. Both games streaming live on the ESPN app, so you can watch anywhere. Imagine, this is the final Super Tuesday of the regular season. This yeah, season it, flew by, my yes, friend. Yes, it, it certainly has. I look at that ACC. I, I think Duke, when they're healthy, and Virginia are the two best teams out there. Right behind them, Kentucky and Tennessee. Gonzaga is in that equation as well. That Virginia team, they are loaded up. That's a, that's a top five offensive efficiency team right now to go with Tony Bennett's defense. Tough shot. Richards' offensive rebound had it and lost it. How about the lineup Coach Cal has on the floor right now, which is going to change this second because Keldon Johnson is coming in. And, boy, Rutt, typical Laura cleaning up my messes. Thank you. Thank you, Laura. Jimmy, <laughs> you got to clean up your mess. We're, we can't be leaving tracks everywhere. <laughs> Embarrassing. I get told that at home all the time. Embarrassing. Appropriate. Watch out. Here's the alley-oop. They had it, and it went right through the hands of Davis. Pretty good pass, it looked like, from Bruce Stevens. Ravi, when I watch Ole Miss play, Kermit Davis moves all five guys mm. as well as anybody in this league. He moves his non-scores around. So you can't just sit in that lane and wait. A very good offensive mind by that guy on your screen. Back in the man-to-man, -man, constant switching on defense from Ole Miss. Good high arcing shot from Jamal Baker. Well, the bad, bad closeouts kill the defense. And Kentucky's so good that time. Baker attacking a closeout and then pulling up short. We make a Kermit Davis's jacket tonight. Sharp look on the sideline. Senior night. Talked about it Saturday. My, my coaches in college tried to get me to go to senior night my freshman, sophomore, and junior year. I would have no part of it, Ravi. I said, no, nope, you're not getting rid of me that quick. <laughs> Tyree to the rack. Can't get it to go. He's struggling early and begging for a foul. Yeah, he better get his tail back on defense. Keldon Johnson absorbed it, and he'll go to the line for a three-point play. Somebody better grab bringing Tyree because he's going to get teed up. And one of his teammates needs to come over right now and Make sure number four doesn't get stuck. He felt like there was a lot of contact on the drive. This is after the, the play at the other end. And, and Keldon Johnson plays bully ball better than anyone else that Kentucky has. He goes right at those interior defenders and right through their chin to the rim, especially in transition. Tyree frustrated, too, by the fact that he has gotten off to a cold start shooting. Third leading scorer in the SEC at about 18.3 a game. He's been terrific in conference. And he's the only dude in the SEC to be in the top ten in scoring, free throw percentage, field goal percentage, and three-point field goal percentage. So at some point, you expect Bree and Tyree to break out tonight. Yeah, he's one of those guards that can go on an 8-9-0 run all by himself. And has supreme confidence. Kermit Davis, a lot of times right now, like three guards on the floor, they always can get you in a mismatch. Two very good free throw shooting teams here tonight. Keldon Johnson missed the end of a three-point play opportunity. Nice dive. Late pass right into the hands of Hero. Shoot the ball, right? Hero's drive is good. He has twice now turned defensive plays into points on the offensive end. One a steal and a three. Here a steal and a layup. Well, he's the guy that ignites Kentucky more times than not. If it's not P.J. Washington, it's Tyler Hero. Defense to offense. The nice runner by 14 in blue. Cats starting to roll. Well, what's Kentucky doing well? They're, they're rotating defensively. Not only to the ball, but then on the back side of the play. That time it was Tyler Hero. That is a tough, tough shot. A runner coming in transition full speed, but he kept his speed under control. Again, struggled at Knoxville, but has answered the bell so far on the road tonight. Who didn't struggle at Knoxville? Yeah, exactly. For Kentucky. They all, they all did. They, they were not ready for a fight. They came to play, and Tennessee came to get revenge, and that's a big difference. Kentucky now leading 23-21. 
Davis, he's been the only guy hot tonight. He missed that one. And Kentucky clears. Our hero is a rhythm performer on offense. When he feels it, he shoots it. Johnson right at Olenicic. Finger roll. An 8-0 run for the Cats. Keldon Johnson is not settling for jump shots in this game because he's had time to do it. He's driving right at and playing bully ball with Ole Miss in front of the rim. Hero and Keldon Johnson, very different nights than they had against Tennessee. Davis in the traffic, throws it up. They're going to get a foul on Jamal Baker. I love the decision making by Keldon Johnson. He's going to pop out for what would have been a pretty good shot. But he says, no, I'm going to stay aggressive and make sure we get paint touches in this ball game. That's how you win games on the road, Rab. You hear me talk about it all the time. In the paint, on the glass, and at the free throw line. Keldon Johnson understands all three. Thanks, guys. Big statement so far by Alabama. Huh? 29-16. They lead that one. It's on ESPNU and Tennessee with a lead over Mississippi State. Big game for Bama tonight, huh? Yeah, huge game. I had their game Saturday against LSU. LSU went in there and put it on them. And now Alabama's for the next week or so is going to be that we win, we're in, we lose, we're out. That's kind of where they're at. And a, a kind of a must win tonight for Alabama on their home floor. Good chance LSU wins the SEC regular season. Good chance. Wouldn't say it's a fait accompli, but there's a good chance they're tied with Tennessee, and he's got them at a four seat. Well, they, he, they need to move up, and I think my jet after a while might, uh, might kind of indicate my thoughts on, on LSU. They're good enough to trot out of the locker room in Minneapolis, talking about LSU. So they, they got an upgrade on your jet? They, they've got the dudes to do it, Ravi. I'm, I'm telling you, they, they can win four games. Those, those guards are electric, but Tremont Waters, Skyler Mays is as solid as there is. And Nas Reed and company, that size inside now can play with anyone in the country. Laura, look around. Pretty soon you're going to see a jet. I can't wait for that. I'm ready for the jet. As Hero makes another shot. That's interesting, guys, because Kermit Davis in that last huddle really preaching to his guys. They've got to be on their matchups, even illustrating the matchups once again, saying that Terrence Davis should be on Tyler Hero and telling them they've got to drive the ball. Can't just be taking shots outside of the paint. How about Hero, though, and Kelvin Johnson tonight? Such a different night, Jimmy. They got 18 of the 27 points for Kentucky. Well, they're getting paint touches. You look up at Kelvin Johnson right now. He's taking one three and seven twos in this game. And that's the mindset that you have to have and establish at that big wing position on the road in this league. That's a foul on White. Yes, sir. Good call. It's on Hinson. Good defense, too. A lot more active on the defensive side. Kelvin Johnson. That's an easy call for Will Howard to make, right? Kentucky's so good at getting body on body on baseline out of bounds. Keldon Johnson with the inside position right there. He goes with the movement in that inside position. And Hinton just comes right down on top of him and wraps him up from behind. This has been an incredibly one-sided series. As you take a look at Hero and Johnson's numbers, these two teams have played 119 times. Kentucky's won 106, and yet there is an intensity, a cheapiness yes, about is. them. I think they're half old Miss try to show they belong with this group as Tyree hits his first. But last year, there were five technicals in yep, the game. Yep, yep. A, a hard fought ball game. Kermit staying with this 1 3 1, and once the ball gets below the free throw line, it will change to a 2 3. Kentucky's been sloppy against it, and Kermit hasn't used it as much. In January and February, as he did in non-conference, I think he realizes the size the athletes the SEC has. He needs to recruit longer guys on the wings. But so far in this game now, he's confident with changing those defenses. Quickly at Hagen's on the floor. The hero, Richards and Keldon Johnson. Can afford to have a smaller lineup against an Ole Miss team that just doesn't have the size some other teams in the conference do. Yeah, how about that kiss? Boy, what a night for Keldon Johnson. That's a high lifted 2-3 zone, Ravi, that Ole Miss was going at. 
And Keldon Johnson is the playmaker right there at the nail offset. And once he got the match of the five, an automatic drive. Again, just playing strong ball as Keldon Johnson in this game. Three and Tyree double teamed. Heroes hands active on D. Will he turn it into more points? Quickly throws it up. Richards is there, and you can see it develop when he threw it up. Only Nick Richards underneath the basket. In transition, Nick Richards ran right to the dunker spot. And he sat there with his butt to the baseline and watched the action develop, and then just went and chewed up the offensive glass. There's a steal, killed in, flush. Herman needs a timeout. He needs a timeout. Wildcats throwing that ball down hard. Their largest lead of the night, 33-25. And what a game for Keldon Johnston and Tyler Hero. That defensive swagger that Kentucky has not had the last two games is back for Big Blue. And Keldon Johnson is the guy right now that his will in this game is extremely tough to deal with. He's driving the ball through contact. He's quick on that offensive glass. He's not settling for jump shots in this game. This is the determined Kentucky team to take the ball to the rim and try to overwhelm Ole Miss with their size. And it started with Keldon Johnson. Kentucky's defense has been hot. But on the other end, Keldon Johnson is hot offensively against man or zone. Driving the big, that last possession, Ravi. Once he got the mismatch of the five in the zone, bam, right down the pipe, well done. And a terrific start by KJ. 13 points on six of 10 shooting. Johnson's got 11 of the last 17 for Kentucky. A lot of controversy, or conversation anyway, about the way that Calipari handled Hero last game against Tennessee. Some thought maybe a little too harsh on him. And obviously, Cal knows his players. Hero has responded in a big way tonight. Here's all that matters. What does Tyler Hero think of it? I, I can tell you by his play tonight, he's fine with it. Tyler Hero wants to be pushed, and Cal knows how to push his guys and push the right buttons. Sometimes that's a really hot button. It was in Knoxville, but that's okay. Bruce Stevens ends that run for Kentucky. Here's some hands from Tyree, who's ahead of Johnson. He goes up and flushes it. Boy, he knew Hero was trying to block that shot, and he made sure he threw it down before he had a chance. Ravi on the pin down action by Kentucky. Ole Miss has changed how they're covering it. Sometimes they're shooting a gap, sometimes they're chasing it. That's exactly what you want to do. Don't give Kentucky a steady diet of what you're doing on those pin downs. Very well done. Held in again in the lane. Nearly another three point play. Watch Brian Tyree as he gets pinned down right here by three and blue. He chases it out, boom, right there, shoots the gap, and that's a rim run to the other end. So about every other possession, you see Brian Tyree, that's, he's caboosing, trailing, chasing, whatever you want to call it, Tyler Hero, and at other times, he's shooting the gap. So he's making Kentucky think a little bit right now on those pin down actions. There's Johnson's first free throw, and he finds the bottom of the net. Henson's got to go out of the game. He's got three personal fouls. And remember, Kentucky has done most of this without P.J. Washington, who picked up two quick ones again tonight. In and out. Rabbi, I will see a team Saturday, Virginia, that is outstanding at those wide pin downs. And if, when you're guarding Virginia, the same thing. You can't give them the same look defensively all the time. They're too good at reading screens. Ring and Tyree is down and we'll uh, make sure he's okay. Well, they, they may go to the monitor just to make sure that the contact was unintentional. There, was, there wasn't something that I didn't see anything live that makes you want to look. Tyree stays, not going to go to the monitor. I don't think there's it's just a hard screen. No, there's, there's nothing there. Just well, there's very much something there. Yeah, well, yeah. There's a lot it's of contact. A it's it's a slobber knocker screen, is what it is, by Brian Tyree, who took the contact well. Yeah, there's there's that's Brian. There's something there. <laughs> that free throw drops. 34-30 after starting out with nothing. He's got five quick ones, and they'll go as far as Brian Tyree takes them. The, the, you tell me, is there any back down in Ole Miss? No. There's not going to be any. They are no. hard to put away in this building. They shoot 77% from the free throw line, which is eighth in the country. 
a huge asset come tournament time. Yes, and, and late game time. Yeah. And yet they've lost these late games by a bucket. Two in a row. Emmanuel quickly floater. Too long and strong, and here comes Ole Miss. Schuler buries a three, the run out, and just like that, we are tied at 34. That was a good timeout that Kermit Davis called during that run, and since then, it's been all team in white. Got a hook. Yep. Offensive foul on Keldon Johnson. Ravi, the, the speed of Ole Miss at their three guard positions is, is electric. Yep. And you watch on this Kentucky miss. I mean, it, bam, off to the races. Look at Shuler get out in front of and actually backpedal so he has his eyes on that basketball. And that's a very fast electric team in transition is Ole Miss. 9-1 run for the Rebels. Really, the offense is, lift, is lifted for Ole Miss. You can get slips, you can get drives. Constantly bringing the big of Kentucky away from that rim defensively is Kermit Davis. Bray and Tyree with six on the shot clock. Hard guard by Higgins, the fall away no good, and the rebound by Johnson. Double up late play call by Calipari for Higgins to work off of. Now you gotta go just get you one. Comes up way short. Kentucky better run. They better run with a purpose. They don't. Reverse layup and a good one there. What a night for Terrence Davis on senior night. Ravi, if you're Kentucky, your first three steps running from offense to defense, it's gotta be a sprint, man. They're not sprinting until the fifth or sixth uh, step right now, and it's costing them. Tyler Hero, tough shot on the baseline, mm. and he is on fire tonight. He is a baller. And a baller on the road. He's good everywhere, but boy, yes. he lights up on the road. <laughs> That's how you judge guards, man. Everybody can play at home. Near steal there as it was deflected. Now he slipped, so a zone advantage for Tyree and Ole Miss. Misses the three. And the ball will go out on Kentucky. A good job by Kentucky the Ravi to zone up. They are outnumbered. They had to zone up to take away the easy two. They got the miss three. They just couldn't clean up the miss. Man, the building. Energetic, huh? What a game. 36-36, 218 to go. And Tyler Hero has taken five shots. He's made all five. He was getting his ear chewed off by Calipari on Saturday. How do you respond? You come out and don't miss a shot on the road. Heroes up to his old tricks tonight. 29 against Arkansas. Bumping the road against Tennessee, but right back on the horse here at Ole Miss. The pavilion is rocking. Super Tuesday on fire as Kentucky and Ole Miss are putting on a show. We sat and drank with the sun on our shoulders and felt like free men. Morgan Freeman from Shawshank Redemption. Yes. <laughs> Movie royalty in the house tonight. Great ones. Bucket List, Driving Miss Daisy, Bruce Almighty. Invictus. Seven. Million Dollar Baby. They won an Oscar for that one. Yeah. He lives nearby. He's got a front row seat and he's witnessing a terrific game tonight, 36 all. Jimmy Dykes, Carl Ravage, Laura Rutledge, Super Tuesday, the SEC on ESPN. You and Laura know that driving Miss Daisy feeling when I'm chauffeuring you around from <laughs> Columbia to St. Louis and all over Oxford. I kind of drive like Miss Daisy, according to you. You drive like Miss Daisy. You don't drive like Morgan Freeman. That's why Miss Daisy never got behind the wheel. <laughs> Uh-oh. Schuler with a three. Nick Richards why? backed off him. Calipari saying the same thing. Why? Why are you backing off of a guard? They all shoot it. It's an easy scout. If it's a guard for Ole Miss, they're going to fire a three. Stay up high. Three-headed monster for Ole Miss tonight. Their guard, Schuler, Tyree. And, boy, Davis has got 15 points. Terrence Davis has been their guy. 
so far in the first half. Same way Hero has been for Kentucky. He's 5 of 5. There's a tough one. Oh, he's 6 of 6. Once Ole Miss switched off, Brian Tyree on Hero. Hero then attacked the bad switch. A really good job by Cal, who is terrific at getting the right guy the right shot. That time he pulled Hero into a mismatch. Hero attacks the mismatch well. And they get a foul on Baker out top on Brian Tyree. Mm. Tyler Hero, I'm a bucket. <laughs> yes, you are. That's the mismatch right there, the bad switch out. Just driving that four position, and John Calipari right now zeroing in on how to get one four and blue open. We were there for that game against Arkansas. He missed one shot, made all of his threes. He had 29 in that one, and he's off to a big night scoring so far here in the first half. Meantime, Brian Tyree has really struggled shooting the basketball tonight. He is two of eight from the floor, and he missed a free throw, and that's something Brian Tyree usually doesn't do. You know, a good exercise to do with your team sometime, Ravi, is say, I want everybody in one word to tell me who you are as a player. And guys will say shooter, rebounder, passer, defender. Y you want them to say competitor. I mean, that's more important than anything else. But if you're Tyler Hero, you might answer that question with bucket, right? Tyree, 83% free throw shooter. He just missed two free throws. So he should make the rest of them tonight. Bucket. Boy, Hero really violent cutting right now to get open. Working hard, man. That's what great shooters do. It's what they do before they catch the ball. Quickly backs out. And now they're up against the shot clock as Higgins walked. He walked. Start of that entire play a little late in the clock, and they had five seconds when Higgins drove. Hey, this week, the NBA Wednesday double dip starts with the Sixers. They're in Chicago against the Bulls. And then Staples Center for LeBron and the Lakers, which in a lot of weird ways has become must-see TV. It's like a car yes, crash right is. inside the Lakers. <laughs> they sure get Jokic is. and the Nuggets coverage. NBA Countdown 7 Eastern on ESPN and the ESPN app. Will Tyree get a ball screen? And work off of it. Kentucky didn't handle ball screen wells against Tennessee. Splits the D, and then he dumped it off to nobody. That was a tough, tough pass. Naylor comes in here in the last six seconds on the shot and 12 in the game. Zach Naylor in for Ole Miss. And Ole Miss is frozen inside that three-foot box that we taught with Laura. Davis, did he get away with a push-off? Oh. No, he did not. He did clear some space for himself. And it gets called for the offensive foul. Ravi, I'm not sure there was a lot of contact, though. I know the arm came up. I don't, honestly, I don't know if it ever made contact. Maybe it did. It's hard to tell from that angle, but from where I was looking, the elbow came up. I'm not sure it ever got into the jersey of Tyler Hero, but it doesn't matter. With nine seconds to go, Kentucky's got a chance to take the lead. Higgins, Johnson. The drive, the left blocked at the rim. How about that first half from Ole Miss? Offensively, TD on senior night, outstanding. A 17-3 run to lead at the half. And that's some impressive defense from Bruce Stevens. Yeah, right. He was inside the restricted arc, but went straight up. Here's Laura. All right, Coach, Terrence Davis on his senior night, already with 15 points. What has he done to give you a good chance in this game? You know, his energy level was great. He, he really stayed within himself. He guarded. I mean, Kentucky's guard, those young guards are fabulous. I thought he did a great job on both ends. He led us in a big way. Obviously, you have even more of a lead if Brian Tyree is himself. How do you get him more involved in the second half? Yeah, Brian settled. Toward the end of the half, he started driving the ball. He settled early. They're doing a good job on him. We just got to trust offense. We got to get the ball to the third side. Thanks so much, Coach. Thanks, Mark. Thank you, Laura. Big night of college basketball here. Ole Miss leading 39-38. And Terrence Davis on senior night has been special. 15 points. They lead by one. And the Chief Halftime Report with Kevin, Jay, and Seth comes up right after a short commercial break. Ole Miss shoots 54% on Super Tuesday, presented by Boost Mobile, and they have a one-point lead. The SEC on ESPN, Ole Miss, the Pavilion, playing host to the Wildcats of Kentucky. And it is a close one, 39-38. A couple of minutes ago, Laura caught up with a coach, John Calipari. 
Coach, the first half mostly without P.J., of course without Reed Travis. What needs to happen in the second half, specifically with P.J.? Well, we're getting out-rebounded. They're being the aggressor. They have 10 points in transition and not like breakouts. Like we're all running back and they're throwing it ahead to a guy shooting a layup. So, you know, you do that, you can't win a game. You're getting out-rebounded, give them breakout layups. Uh, but we're hanging around and let's see what goes on. All right, thanks, Coach. Wrapping the first half, I talked about the first three steps for Kentucky in conversion defense. Watch, hold it right there. As the ball is being shot by uh, Keldon Johnson, look at two and five. Hagens and Quickly, they are responsible for a get-back defense. Their first three steps have to be a sprint. Look at this. Look at their first three steps. Walk, 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 jog, almost kind of run. Where's my guy? Lay up at the other end. It's so hard to win games in conference play on the road. Those are the type plays. He just plays, takes two or three a ball game. You look up in the game, we lost the game. Right. Where's your fight? Where's your energy? The first three steps, I'm telling you, the first three steps for Kentucky in transition defense in this half, they got to be going, man. But the silver lining in all this, P.J. Washington played like seven minutes. Yeah. Lee Travis isn't even on the floor, and it's a one-point game on the road. Yes, and uh, if you're Kermit Davis, you are thrilled with the fact that you have a 17-13 to 13 rebound advantage. They've been gaining rebounding well. And can Kentucky establish P.J. Washington offensively to start the half? P.J. went out with 12.58 to go in the first half. Two quick fouls on 25. And again, his last two games coming into this, two field goals in each of those games. He is 0 for 1 tonight. There it is, left block. Make him go to that direction. Well done by Ole Miss. Davis had a huge first half. There's a drive and comes up short. Hagan saw a lane and he lays it in with a right hand. Yeah, getting downhill quickly. The, the spacing by Kentucky was not great in the early conversion, but then once they made the second pass, the floor opened up well. points for Terrence Davis in the first half. Three and Tyree penetrated late in the first half, started scoring. That one was three quarters of the way down and it came back out. Get up, PD! Higgins. Oh, looked like a clean block from Devontae Schuler, but they called the whistle and a foul. Ravi, I'm with you. I, I'm not going to give the bailout to get him with the body because there's up top that is a block shot there's no contact between white and blue it's all ball up top and that should have been play on little body yeah but not yet that, that happens all the yeah. time on drives at this level yep you agree i do yeah. and Devonte schuler picked up his third foul a big foul schuler that point guard spot and now they got to go with dc davis who came to ole miss as a walk-on Kermit not happy with that foul. Fuel to the bench. Davis earned a scholarship. And Kermit Davis's team down by three. And Tyree charges, pulls up, and that one misses. He's off tonight. The offensive rebound and a fresh 30 for Ole Miss. They're going to get Hagens for the reach. Hagens just needs to be solid. He's a disruptive defender, but you're trying to take the ball away from some guy at the 35 foot mark instead of just staying solid. And Cal right in front of us saying the same thing. Guys, one of the messages to Ashton Hagens over the past couple games, and specifically coming into this one, is be tenacious on defense. But you feel like, too, as a young player, could be forcing some things. But he's been told by Coach Cal, be tenacious on defense and get the offense going. Well, the offense going for Ole Miss is pretty simple. Get it to Terrence Davis and let number three go. 18 now. Ravi, how about Terrence Davis? He averaged one point per game as a freshman. But he said, you know what, I'm going to go to work and prove that I'm a player at this level. And I'm so happy for that kid, his resiliency and the lesson that's there. Keldon Johnson making a living in the paint, ah. Jimmy, tonight. Yes, so strong, determined to drive that ball to that logo. 
To your point, though, it has been quite uh, the development for Terrence Davis. And this is his senior night. He fires again, and that one drops. He's got 20. He's at the perfect level. Calipari just shaking his head. He knows he's up against a senior tonight that understands we are one win away from locking up an NCAA berth. Someone better start checking Terrence Davis. Boy, Hero and Johnson. Without those two, it's a different ball game. They have been special tonight. Hero's so good at reading an angle. He's not the quickest guy on the floor, but he's a power driver, and he has great breaks. He's doesn't a scorer. He? Yes, he doesn't charge. He has terrific breaks. Buffin, good play. Davis found him. He kept cutting to the hole, and he beat P.J. Washington in the bucket. Buffin from Gainesville, Georgia High School, home of the Red Elephants. Tweet us right now if there's a better nickname in high school sports than the Red Elephants. I, I can't think of one. Can you? It's a good one. That's a great it's one. It's a good one. But you'll get some, you'll well, get some get Twitter. Some. A little Twitter traffic on that. Drive the gap. Gosh, that's, that's so good. It's the Johnson Heroes yes. show tonight, and they're all in the paint. Sheldon Johnson saying, you can't guard me, man or zone. Talk about a point guard taking the ball anytime he wants, anywhere he wants. That's what Kelton Johnson is doing right now from the big wing position. You got to stop the drive, so up here, Ole Miss. Yes, you do. Too easy in the paint for those guys. Hero hasn't missed seven shots tonight. Down low, we'll get a foul. Kentucky forcing weak on that ball screen action by Ole Miss, forcing it to that left hand. And if they're going to get beat by a roller out of the action, so be it. But they're not going to let those guards from Ole Miss get rolling. Look at that under control and just he, he is so good at going at the opposite jerseys with strong two hands. There's no one hand finesse finishes by Keldon Johnson in contact. That's a high level play out of a young kid. Higgins comes out of the game. So does EJ Montgomery. And again, Tennessee, LSU, both 14 and two. And there's Kentucky sitting there at 13 and three. Tennessee looks like they're going to improve to 15 and two. I'll be in Florida tomorrow night at Gainesville for an LSU game against Florida. That's another challenge for the Tigers yes. on the road against the Gators. Florida got stung Saturday night at home by Georgia. That should be an angry, hacked off bunch of Gators. Those kind of teams are dangerous. Hero drive and a kick to Johnson. Baseline. That time straight up on defense and he forced a difficult shot. Kentucky got it to the third side of the floor like Kermit Davis told Lauren Halftime he wants his offense to do. Tyree, tricky dribbles here and he ran into a wall in Nick Richards. Oh, and Bruce Stevens buries a three. Bruce Stevens was determined to make a three in this game, wasn't he? He sure was. He was determined <laughs> to let one go down. And that zone defense, attack the nail and drive it. DJ to his yeah. right hand. I, I, I just don't like the zone, the 2 3 zone by Ole Miss tonight. I think Kentucky's too good with Keldon Johnson and PJ getting the ball at the free throw line and, and playing between the pipes at that 5 and 4 position. Too good. Bad pass. It was deflected, so no backcourt violation. Tyree, tough shot. That yep. one rattles in. Tested jump shot that time for yes. and Tyree. Double digits now with 10. Hit P.J. a touch. Make the defense respond to it. Single coverage. That's automatic, but he missed it. There's Nick Richards. Missed the first and the second, and it's Ole Miss basketball. Well, the ones you got you got the ones you got to make if you're Nick Richards. That's an easy tip waiting to happen for a seven-footer. Well, Ree and Tyree lost it, regained it, kept it alive. And still plenty of time on the shot clock. His buffing drives. No foul called. And a good job by Nick Richards to let the ball get below the rim before he went and got it. Man, this is shirts and skins right now. Winner stays on the floor. Terrence Davis, tough shot. Bill advised there's Buffett on the offensive, and they're going to get him on a foul. Energy is red hot here at the Pavilion tonight.
ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by Zaxby's. Chicken fingers, buffalo wings, salads. Find a location at Zaxby's.com. I love the jet, and it's time to bring it out of the hangar. It is. We're talking first class tonight. There's eight seats up there. Virginia and Duke, I think they're the best two teams in college ball when Duke is healthy. Right behind them, I have Tennessee and Kentucky. In the, in the third row in first class is Gonzaga and North Carolina. The Zags have not played a NCAA tournament team over the last two months, but they're still terrific. Purdue is in first class to start tonight. They go on the road and lose. So, Purdue, you're going to be bumped back to business class. Ooh. Get your luggage out of the overhead and, and move back. I'm going to put the Big Ten champion up there. I think eventually, I don't think there's an NCAA national champion out of the Big Ten this year. I like Purdue coming into the night. Get your luggage, move back. Somebody's going to take your spot. That stinks. That's still a, that stinks. a, a flowing. So you got to grab all your luggage? All, all of it. Uh, all of it. And, and Purdue had a nice seat on the aisle, and you lose, and flight attendant walks back and says, excuse me, that sir, stinks. I need to see your seat. Got to go back to 80, the last time two number one seeds from the SEC, Kentucky and LSU. Blocked at the rim. Really good defense. Perrin Davis, have a night. Now he has the ball stolen. We're going to get a kick. Coach Cal talking to his Kentucky team in the huddle, saying when Ole Miss is in their 1-3-1 one, one defense, they've just been kind of throwing the ball back and forth. Wants them to get the ball to the sideline, gets him a better angle to get the ball in the lane. Also challenge P.J. Washington, saying you've gotten in foul trouble the last couple games. Need more out of you. We're going to run a lot through you in this second half. And really, this time of year, we need you to step up. 104, Owen Echik battling there. We're going to get a jump ball. And the possession arrow goes to... Kentucky. The ball screen Bell defense. Ole Miss. Okay. Right, the ball screen defense by Kentucky is all about containing the guards. They're, they're not so afraid right now of the Ole Miss bigs rolling and finishing. That's not a high percentage play for them. Ole Nietzsche missed an easy one. These guards now, you better switch out high and hot. How about bringing Tyree? Took it right at Nick Richards. And how about Nick grabbing the ball away? Cross it over, find the other side of the floor. Hagan spin move, foul, and a bucket. 18 of the last 22 points for Kentucky have come in the paint. Well, the, the first three steps by Kentucky in transition offense this time is in Big Blue's favor. Hagens was starting to cross the ball over because he had two shooters on the far side of the floor, saw his defender get on the outside shoulder. It's an automatic spin to the rim for Ashton Hagens. Very, very well done. High game, 13, 15 to go. Kentucky came into this building staggered a little bit after being knocked in the nose by Tennessee, who's knocking Mississippi State in the nose tonight. But they've kind of found their fight and their swagger back as this game has gone on. Ole Miss lost three of their last four, and the games have all been decided by one bucket. It's like we're looking at a close one again here tonight. Stevens, a little late pass to Buffin. He gets that to go on a foul on Nick Richards. Boy, did that develop slowly. Yeah, it was a back screen, ball screen action by Ole Miss up top. And then at the end of the play, Nick Richards just gets confused. It's twice in this game that two guys from Kentucky have been guarding one, and they just a bad switch out and a bad X action between Montgomery and Nick Richards. And then a bad foul. And a bad foul at the end. Three bads in a row is not good. And uh, no question, good job by our... Producer Scott Matthews and director Derek Mobley. Right away, you got to show Reed Travis. And when he got hurt, it just felt like this was an opportunity for Richards and E.J. Montgomery. Uh, much more than how much they were going to miss him. But boy, they miss him. Th those plays don't happen when Reed Travis is on the floor. He anchors Calipari's defense with his body and his voice. Heldon Johnson left wide open for a three, and he knocks it down. The double team came on P.J. Washington. He read it, he felt it, and he threw right through the double team. And Keldon with a good job of getting in vision. Good hands that time by Keldon Johnson. And they're going to get a foul. I should say P.J. Washington. And they're going to get a foul on him. And that's his third. Ole Miss comes what they call. Well, right now they're just going to bracket P.J. And P.J. reads 
They're going to force me and take away my left shoulder, force me baseline, so he becomes a passer instead of a finisher. That's a guy that knows the strength of his own game. Not so good going that direction. Terrific coming toward the middle. So P.J. Washington delivers the dime. Interesting. I wonder if the SEC Player of the Year conversations has changed a little bit. These are three rough games here for P.J. Washington. So Grant Williams had a terrific game for Tennessee against Kentucky. Vermont Waters has been in that conversation. Ray and Tyree challenge. Fade away, no good. And we're going to go the other way. Yeah, I think Grant Williams has regained his momentum for the SEC Player of the Year. I personally would wait to the SEC Finals to do that voting. Right. Because, man, th those, those three games in Nashville are so impactful. And you see guys going out on, on a neutral floor, and sometimes we have to ca cast our votes a couple of weeks too early in those type races. Speaking of races, how's John Calipari last week? not on the Naismith National Coach of the Year Final 15 list. Are you kidding me? Yeah, there, there's all of the guys that their teams are ranked in the top 12 were on that list with the exception of one, John Calipari. That is that is not right. That, that is an overlook or agendas or both by some voters. Good take by P.J. Washington. I couldn't agree with you more. Felt a little bit like last year's uh, American League Manager of the Year conversation. Hmm. Alex Cora takes his Red Sox all the way to 108 wins in the World Series. Wasn't even really in the top two yeah. when it came to manager of the year. 58, 56, under 12. All right, guys, thank you very much. Uh, behind the scenes, the report from inside the Duke locker room. That comes up next at Sports Center following our game. But the Milwaukee Bucks, the biggest threat, East in the East. Is there a threat to the Bucks? And this is a pretty good one. We're going to hang with Yasiel Puig. So, what makes Puig prime? Very different Cincinnati Red team this season with Puig and Matt Kemp on it. And of course, the big baseball story, Bryce Harper signing that 300, I mean, he's in Dykes territory. He can buy several jets with 330. <laughs> yes, he could. A lot of first class yeah. seats on the Bryce Harper jet. Back here, 58-56. Out of the break, they go down low. Nick Richards is gonna get called for another foul. Kermit Davis is challenging his Ole Miss team right here. Just told him in that huddle, saying, we need a kill right here. For them, that means three stops in a row. Really wants to see that here. Also telling him, get back to that quicker ball movement that they're so known for. Jimmy, you've commented on it in this game. They think that that really does throw Kentucky off and out of their rhythm. Want to see the ball move quicker for Ole Miss. Well, it's, it's a young Kentucky team defensively. And Kermit telling you, Laura, at halftime, we got to get to the third side of the floor. What he's saying is that he has seen Kentucky sometimes can lose their discipline defensively, which a lot of young teams can. And you get to that fourth or fifth pass against Kentucky, you've got a chance for something good to happen. And if not, then you have you know late clock players like Brian Tyree and TD that can go get you one. But I think Kentucky feels good offensively in this game. Calipari is concerned, I think, about his defense because Ole Miss, again, Ravi, they move five guys now really well, and you have to stay disciplined if you're Kentucky in this game on this end, defensively. Foul trouble for Kentucky. Richards to the bench with four. P.J. Washington starting to take over. We saw the left hand and now the right, and he's made the last two buckets for the Cats. I don't believe Ole Miss has stopped Kentucky from scoring in the middle third of the floor so far in this game. I might be wrong, but I think that every time they've gone there, Kentucky has driven downhill. Buffalo had an open three, now he's Ford say, so he kicks it to Schuler. No friendly roll, and the loose ball picked up, and now a jump ball. And this time it is going to be Kentucky ball. We talked about the middle third of the floor has been so good for Kentucky offensively in this game. PJ's going to get it, strong two hands, a little bit of a foot fake and a shoulder fake, and just driving right down the right side of that lane. And he has struggled without his buddy Reed Travis on the interior. But he needs to show up big right now with ten and a half to go in this game. One more time. And that one goes down. He's four of seven from the floor tonight, matching his previous two games as far as field goals. Ravion, uh, you break him down analytically. PJ's about four shots on the left block, to only one shot on the right block. But now he gets that left jump hook going as well in March. How do you cover Kentucky yeah. in the box? Well, they don't, and as Laura said, coach wanted some 
stops. They haven't got any, and they've gotten a little cold on the offensive end, trailing by four. Here comes Kentucky with a chance to increase that lead to six or seven. 18 points in the paint in the second half. Yeah, that's, 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 that, that's how you do it in paint. That's how you win on the road. That's how you win in Nashville next week. That's how you win in March. DJ, that's a foul. That was a foul. No Got call. Grabbed, and the grabbed. Kentucky bench up off their feet. Leads to a layup. That's frustrating for Calipari. He's giving Doug Shouse an earful. Well, PJ couldn't get his arms up because one of the shot arms is being held down. Cal trying to screen the top of that 1 3 1. Get the ball to the corner, and the 1 3 1 Ooh. changes. Or just knock down a three from Hero. Hero dagger. That was much more of a set shot. He's going to give a warning to Coach Calipari for coming out of that box. Well, he was out. He was out on the floor. He wasn't out of the 38-foot mark, but Cal was really into these guys over the last 30, 45 seconds off what he thought was a no Cal, uh, no call with PJ. Six on the shot clock. Davis one on one. Good help that time from EJ Montgomery. Good defensive series by Kentucky. They stayed down. They kept their hips squared on the ball. Very well done. Held in Johnson to the rack. Can't get it to go. That would have been a big two to put him up seven. Get the switch. Green's going to attack it. Yep, there it is. Good play. Bringing Tyree to the rack. Circle that, the missed layup, and then the two for Ole Miss. See if there's something happening now in a three-point game. I mean, maybe Kentucky maybe switched too quickly that time because you can just Westbrook that ball screen. What I mean by it, the guard just fight over the top of it and stay matched. P.J. Oh. Washington nasty right now in the second half. Wow. And feeling it. Boy, between Hero Johnson and P.J., three guys that can create their own offense. Yeah, and when you're doing it in the paint, those are body blows, aren't they, to Ole Miss? Those type of buckets. Points are coming a lot easier for the team in blue right now. That's a switch again. Davis, three. Way short. Save with two on the shot clock. Dagger bringing Tyree. A huge three. Back the other way. Hero off. And a missed dunk. We're going to get a foul. No, a travel. Offensive goaltending called on EJ. He can't believe it. What action. Brian Tyree can make hard guarded shots as well as any 6-1 guard in this league. Tyler Hero doesn't close out quite tight enough and take up the airspace. Calipari doesn't like it. His defense has to get dialed in with 7.24 to go. SEC tournament goes back to Nashville, Tennessee. And you can see if the season ended today, You'd have Missouri and Georgia in the 12-13 game, a and in Vanderbilt, and Tennessee, South Carolina, Kentucky and LSU would all have to double by into Friday. But South Carolina currently sitting on the four line and right now not even on the bubble of the NCAA tournament. Isn't that something? Their, their non-conference was not good enough to be in the conversation right now. Calipari's still in the ear of Doug Shows. Before we go down the stretch right here. Here's the best one I've seen on Twitter. Polka High School in West Virginia. The Polka Dots. <laughs> huh? It's creative. That's good. It's creative. Yeah. There's one in Arkansas too, the Fordyce Red Bugs. That's one, that's one of my favorites. Stevens had a good shot and he missed it. No clear with a fresh 30. Man, that frustrates the coach. Drop a play, get the ball to a layup spot and miss it. Look at Hero all over Tyree. There's a three from the corner. That's way off. Probably not the shot they wanted from Blake Hinson. 
Kentucky not running. In offense, Cal wants his guys to run to those deep corners. Put pressure on Ole Miss and their conversion defense. They had Richards on the roll, didn't see him. And P.J. got fouled and he didn't get that one to go, but he has been a difference maker in the second half. We have seen P.J. Washington be a little more P.J. Washington-esque in this second half. After Coach Cal challenged him to do just that, he was in foul trouble in the first half. As he has been the last couple games, they needed more out of him. And just in that huddle just now, reminding his team, he wants this offense to go through P.J. He wants everything to go through P.J. Actually got upset with Tyler Hero because he tried to take a three in transition. He said, get it to P.J. If P.J. gets double, then he can kick it out and you can try that. You can't blame Hero for wanting to try a three as hot as he's been tonight. But the point being, he said, Ole Miss has not been able to guard P.J. Le yet. Let's keep going with that. And for most of the year, no one's been able to guard P.J. All 11 have come in the second half. Revy Cal is so good at getting the right guy, the right shot at the right spot. And right now, he's dialed in on P.J. Washington, rightfully so. And if you're Ole Miss, you respond to P.J. right now, and then someone else will step up for Kentucky. Tough, that's a travel. Stevens wanted to get it to Schuler. Schuler moved, Stevens took some steps. An empty trip for Ole Miss. Quickly so good at pressuring that next pass and forced Stevens into the travel call. Send Terrence Davis over to the bench. Blood, little blood on, on his arm. Well, Ole Miss was showing that 2-3 zone again, and Cal has carved it up. He's right in front of us right now talking to his guys, and they've carved it up from getting a, a, a big target, whether it's Keldon Johnson or P.J., who are big targets inside that zone to face up and make plays. They expect him to go right back with it. 68-65 here. Hey, Duke and North Carolina, one of the two huge games on Saturday. You could argue the two best games of the final weekend in the regular season. Then at seventh rank, Michigan, the fighting B-Lions against Michigan State in that huge sequel game. Both games stream live on the ESPN app. You can watch them anywhere. Duke, North Carolina, Michigan, Michigan State. Two, three zone, be patient. That's a single coverage. You're not going to stop him. No, he that feels real good. good right now. I, I, I said it again, I don't like Ole Miss's 2-3 zone in this game. Zones I, have hurt Kentucky, though, because yes. their outside shooting hasn't been great. They're feeding the monster yes. down low, and he's been red hot. You grade this game come tonight, though, and that 2-3 that zone for Ole Miss, it has not held up. Not, not tonight it hadn't. Nope. Tough catch from Stevens into traffic. No good, and Nick Richards there for the rebound. It's with a size advantage showed for Kentucky. Out of his way, open up the, there, there you go. That's kind of the Grant Williams, lower the ball and swing it up through contact that Grant Williams is so good at Tennessee. This is against the zone, and watch P.J. Washington be patient. They back screen the zone, and now P.J. is wide open on the short corner, and it's single coverage with the five men in the middle of the zone on the back line, and that is automatic two points for P.J. Washington in this game. Oh, and Ichi comes in, so we'll try to put some size on Washington. Slow him down. 11 of the last 13 points for Kentucky have come from P.J. Nick Richards has drawn the foul. He'll go to the free throw line. As big as Olenicic is, and, and, and he's, he's a mountain, but the mountain doesn't move very well, and, and Richards did the right thing to attack the hip and try to step by him, and Kentucky now trying to carve into that big free throw advantage that Ole Miss has had in this game so far. 60. 5% free throw shooter, Nick Richards. Looked good with that one. You had it like that. You're a free throw aficionado. That yes. Rotation. I think his alignment is really good. He's got the goose neck on the release. Boom. Well done. That, that doesn't stare the rim down too much. Those are big free throws now. 
Ole Miss has not been able to stop Kentucky on the defensive end. And they cannot afford to have any more empty trips down. Davis high arcing three. Hero the rebound. What a defensive play by Richards because he had to step out because Terrence Davis came off that pin down action free. Richards saw it and really got out and made Davis shoot a high shot. Seven fouls on Ole Miss. Kentucky bonus. P.J. settled for the jump shot. Yeah, P.J. at 12 is a little different than P.J. eight feet and down. Tyree, foul line jumper, good. Tyree just off the bounce. He's played lower than any Kentucky defender for the most part. Low wins, and then he's got great pop, great pop into his jump shot. Man, that was careless. What in the world? Very sloppy. Hagens. We'll shoot some free throws. Two possessions ago, watch Nick Richards recognize that a shooter is going to come off of a pin down action. He's guarding 13 in white, but watch the alertness. Uh-oh, bam, I got to get out there. And his alertness and his big step to step out on an open three-point shooter probably took away a make. Hagen's first free throw good. Ashton Hagen's has spent a lot of time working on his shot. And it certainly has improved over the course of the season. 74% free throw shooter. He hasn't missed the free throw tonight. Does there. Offensive rebound. That's in the hands of Nick Richards. Now it's going to be old miss ball on the tie-up. Oh, let me check out. Stevens back in. But not boxing off has now flipped that possession arrow. Kentucky kept that ball alive and almost had to come in and tie it up. Stay up, Nick. That's a heck of a catch by Schuler. Yes. Yeah. Got a tough shot. Good step back by Schuler to get separation. He had to. Nick Richards defensively has been really good, Ravi, the last three or four minutes in this game. Danger time for Ole Miss. 3.30 to go, and they trail it by six. They're going to let Keldon Johnson work off their circle motion right now. So he's working off baseline screens, and P.J. with a sprint out ball screen at the end of it. There it is. That ball was deflected. Three blue shirts had a chance at it. None of them come up with it. And it's Tyree and Quickly. And they get a foul on Emmanuel Quickly. Boy, there were six blue hands up yes. there, and none of them came down with a basketball. 3-10 to go. Ole Miss shoots free throws when we come back on Super Tuesday in Oxford. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is presented by Boost Mobile. Boost makes it easy to switch. Switching makes it easy to save. We're back in Oxford and talking to these Kentucky players. A lot of them freshmen. That's the usual for a Coach Calipari team in Kentucky. But Ashton Hagan talking a little bit about the freshman wall, and he knows he hasn't played to the level that he wanted to of late but that said he still feels like they're getting back to that point getting some of their mojo back maybe tonight if they are able to come out with a win you get a little more of that he talked about hitting that wall though and just the exhaustion that comes with playing day in and day out in the SEC he said trying to deal with it they've all decided they got to sleep a little bit more so the way that they do that is take 30 minute naps that's something that all these freshmen have started to do. He said, I never really took naps until I got to college, but have learned that any type of rest is helpful. And everybody on this Kentucky squad trying to do that as we enter toward the end of the regular season and head into tournament play, guys. Yeah, you're yeah. talking to some professional nappers over here. Yes. <laughs> you know, Kentucky, only, only five turnovers in this game on the road, and two, two or three of those within the first three or four minutes. They've been clean for the most part, and, and you worry about the mental you know, weariness of your ball club right now as a coach as much as anything. Sure. 
all the scouting reports and plays and film watching and you have to keeping them fresh, man, and keeping your staff fresh right now. It's, it's very, very important. Tyree's got the last nine, and it's a four-point game. With the ball below the free throw line extended, the zone will change. Or Wide it. open, it. Nick Richards, baseline jam. Ole Miss forgot about number four. Just threw right over the top of that spread 1-3-1. One, one. Nick Richards went right to the dunk spot and just waited on the catch, and it was over. Ole Miss only 37% from the floor in the second half. Kentucky's defense has risen up a notch or two as this game has progressed. A little bit more discipline, keeping their hips in front of the ball. They have fought hard on the offensive rebound the opportunities for Ole Miss as well. It's five on Nick Richards. Jimmy, he's going to come out of the game. Tyree pulled his uh, Tremont Waters act out of there with that step through and that low dribble. Emmanuel quickly will go on the floor for Kentucky. I thought Nick did some good things for Cal tonight on the defensive end. He was alert, he was active, he gave effort. Without Reed Travis, boy, he and Montgomery right now have a lot of pressure on him until this big cat gets back. Kentucky cannot win the national championship without Reed Travis. They can with him. Last 10 points for Ole Miss, courtesy of Bree and Tyree. Talked about how good a free throw shooting teams they are. They've missed two. And still two, Ole Miss, Man. 20 of 22. Woo. Big part of this game. It's an even sized game now. John Calipari is going small, so Ole Miss has a chance to continue to do some damage on the glass. Don't you get PJ on the block, Ravi? Need time. Throw it back. Get him a touch. PJ wants the ball. Good work. Gets it. They come to double team him. They deflect it. Three on the shot clock. Hagens is going to have to shoot it. Didn't get it off. Did not get it off. And there's really no excuse. I know that's a kid that reclassified, but as a point guard, you have to know in your mind he's facing the shot clock the entire possession. He's not a back to the basket guy. Terrence Davis, who had that huge first half, has not scored in 15-plus minutes. Tyree's got the last 11. The concern for Cal right now is can you keep Terrence Davis and Tyree from making one-on-one -on -one play? Stevens, three, off to the right, and Higgins with a rebound. I'm just, I'm just not sure about Stevens continuing to fire threes in this game. He's a 31% shooter coming in. Your guards are the guys that can go get their own. Ball deflected and stole. Plenty of time. The drive into the body. Good job, E.J. Montgomery. Still alive for Ole Miss. And still 15 on the shot clock. A great no call. You can't do it any better than Montgomery did. Inside the arc, he has the right to go straight up and stay within his cylinder. Now, he got, he got cracked across the nose, but he may have saved two points. We can fix your nose to later. But we, <laughs> we got to make sure we don't give up two points. Super Tuesday, Oxford, Mississippi. Huge game for Ole Miss. They win this one. They know they're in the NCAA tournament. Look at E.J. Montgomery. He goes up. Mm. Now, he got cracked across the nose with an elbow, but he had his elbows by his ears. That's a legal play. He's entitled to go straight up, and that may have saved Kentucky two points, and he got cracked pretty hard across the nose, but that's giving up your body for your team. That's a tremendous defensive play, and now Ole Miss in a short clock situation. 14 seconds on the inbounds, down by four. Their free throw shootings kept the minute. They are 20 of 22 from the free throw line tonight. Huge offensive possession for Ole Miss. Terrence Davis drove. There's more defense by E.J. Montgomery, and he came up with a rebound. Cal has three timeouts if he doesn't like what he sees. Okay, 
They double, then they steal it. No, nope, we're going to have a jump ball. It's Kentucky ball on the possession. Remember the missed free throw that, Ken that Kentucky got back and it flipped the arrow? That would be Ole Miss ball right now had Kentucky boxed, or Ole Miss boxed off on that missed free throw about three or four minutes ago. Another defensive play by E.J. Montgomery. Maybe got away with his hands getting out in front of his body a little bit. Short clock for Kentucky. Hero. Off. And Stevens comes up with it. I trust the guards of Ole Miss right now, if I'm permit, to make a play. Brian Tyree has shown the ability to make a hard shot one-on-one -on -one in this game. Well, they've had Stevens and Hinson shooting threes late in the game when you have Tyree and Schuler on your team and Terrence Davis. Ravi, wrong guys. I mean, it's it's that's the only way to say it. Wrong guys taking the shot at the wrong time. They've missed nine of their last ten field goals. That's not how they've won 19 games. This is a guards team. And Tyree and Schuler and Davis, their voice has to be loud right now and understand. You get us the ball, and if we miss, you go get a rebound. Keldon Johnson strings on that free throw. Does that make sense, what I said earlier about the, the missed free throw box out by Ole Miss? Yeah. Resulted in that yep. possession switch. It's a huge thing sometimes. Small thing, but a, yes. but a big thing at yes. the end of a game. No good, so it's five. Crowd screaming for them to shoot at Tyree. No good. Offensive rebound. Put back up and in by Terrence Davis in a timeout. With 20 seconds to go, Kentucky leads by three. Good job by Davis to get to the back side on that offensive glass. Ole Miss one win away from locking up an NCAA bid. And Kermit nice. Davis was telling us earlier, too, today, they've had these chances here late. They've been very inconsistent. They won four in a row. Then they lose three of their last four. They lost two in a row at home, in danger of three in a row at home. Any one of those wins, they could have won that Tennessee game, could have won the Arkansas game. This one is certainly within their grasp. But frustrating times for Ole Miss. Grant Williams got one to roll over. That allowed Tennessee to win. There was a call on Admiral Schofield. It was clearly a charge, the right call. Kermit Davis was upset. And then this kind of heave at the last minute, and they didn't have got any good shot off here. So you lose two that you conceivably win one of them, especially against Tennessee. They've had chances. They certainly have. It, to me, Grant Williams, the shot he made here last week is the shot of the year so far in the SEC because it keeps Tennessee in the hunt for the SEC regular season title. It keeps Tennessee in the hunt for number one seed. That, that was just a powerful will by Grant Williams to drive that thing right through the, the contact and finish it off. But again, Kermit Davis, they were picked 14th in the yep. league. And if you would have told us early in March, they're going to have Kentucky on their home floor and be one win away from the NCAA tournament, he'd have said, I'll take it. True, but after what I think they were 6-0 in December, they were. kind of felt like they were a little better than 14th. Yeah. Last three games, they've been decided by a total of four points. Uh, there's no hard cuts by Kentucky. They get the timeout. Good job by Ole Miss to, to front, front the action, Ravi. And I think we talked about this same thing last week in the Arkansas game. Now, Kentucky's got to make that second cut. I mean, you have to have guy like right now, if you're, if you're Calipari, you just ask your staff, who are my five most competitive guys? I don't care if it's five seniors or five centers. My five most competitive guys got to be on the floor and close out this game. Competitors make a second cut and they're strong, they get fouled, and they want to go to the free throw line. That's who you want on the floor right now if you're UK. Their goal was there to get it to Tyler Hero, who is shooting at a record pace from the free throw line of almost 94%. They couldn't get it inbounds, so they call timeout with 20. For Kentucky, the goal is to get it to anybody before the five second shot, uh, five second inbounds clock winds down. And go to the free throw line and take your chances. They have not been as good as Ole Miss tonight, but they've been very solid all year from the free throw line. No, he can still run the baseline. Yep. Because after a made field goal. And that, that, that second cut or screening action, sprint away from the ball, come back. They want the dadgum ball right now. They get it to Hero. 
He avoids the foul, then he gets hit there. It's the same guy that Cal called the number last week against Arkansas. And when you say put your five most competitive dudes on the floor, 14 in blue is going to be right at the top of that list. Would you agree? I would put him at the top. And I'd certainly enjoy this if you're a Kentucky fan. Remember, this was the I'm a bucket comment that he made after <laughs> making a free throw. He is 52 of 53 from the free throw line in SEC play. You can see it right there. That's 98 percent. That's as good of a routine as you can have. It's it, it's short, it's compact, it's repeatable. He spins that ball to get a good feel for it. Doesn't stare the rim down. 53 out of 54 now in conference play. Incredible. That is incredible. Watch it spin, get a feel for it. Nothing but the ball. He, he, he doesn't hit the rim on his free throws. Uh-oh. Why would you gamble? They did, and the three drops. It's a two-point game. That was a gamble, and it cost him. Why? You got timeouts in Kentucky, and you can run the baseline. They get it to quickly. That's not Hero. They get it to Emmanuel quickly. And he'll come down the other end quickly, an 82% free throw shooter. Now, now, Hero is a gambler defensively, but you do not, you do not gamble in that situation. And you do, and you miss, and you keep the door open for Ole Miss. Hinson picks up his fifth foul. Now, Perry telling Hero the same thing, like, why? We got the game won, stay solid. to make them both and he makes the first it's a three-point game this one would ice it for him yeah Ole Miss with no timeouts left so they're just gonna have to play on the fly right now and they need quickly to miss it or the game will end and Kentucky will win it and he makes them both boy free throw shooting for the catch down the stretch really solid And Kentucky on the road picks up a huge win, 80-76. Ole Miss has lost three in a row. Kentucky led for the last 11 minutes and 58 seconds. And congratulations to John Calipari, who picks up win number 300 at Kentucky. Well, the Cats came in staggering, and they leave with their swagger back. This was not an easy game. It was an energy and a fight game against a desperate team. Kentucky held up. P.J. Washington was a stud in the second half. P.J. Washington great in the second half. Keldon Johnson and Tyler Hero tremendous all game long. It's been a special year for our producer Scott Matthews, Derek Mobley in the truck, outstanding guys. Laura Rutledge and Jimmy Dykes, I'm Carl Ravage. It's Sports Center time. <laughs>